backstage at UFC 278 with the one and only Gilbert Burns. How are you, sir? You looking well? Doing great. We're just helping those guys. We got two wins. Yeah, I'm happy. Been a good start for you guys tonight. Yeah, we got two wins. Angelusa, a harder one. He lost the second round. He got rocked. He got back. He got a win. Jerry Gordon, we were just sparring with him before his fight. Yeah, two wins for several MMA. Now we got Luke Rockhold, a big one. So I hope he does good. It's going to be a tough one. Sure is. Talk to me about this main event. Usman versus Edwards. How do you think it's going to play out? I think Leon has a big chance. People, because he, I, I, I guess, because he don't fight as much, people don't, he's a little underrated, under the radar. But I think he's very good. I think, I think he's going to start very fast. I think he's going to hurt tomorrow. I don't see Leon with a lot of power to put Kamaru down and maybe finish, but I can see hurting him, elbow, he had very good elbows, good body kicks. I studied him very much because I thought we were gonna fight, so very long, uh, using the distance is very good. I just think he might win the first round, he might start winning the second round, but then freaking Kamaru Usman, I think he's gonna find a way, start using the rest if he has to, and then the power, the strength, the guys, guys are horse working, very good, very hard working. I think as the rounds are going, come out, we find a way, we 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 kind of deal with the with the with our diversity, and then he's gonna kind of take over and start wrestling, ground and pound, and maybe get a TKO last round, fourth round. I think that's the way I see the fight going. But you can't underestimate Leon. Leon is a very tough one. Is that the strength, the real strength of Kamaru, that he always seems to find a way? He finds the way, freaking guy. Uh, he does a very good job at it. People don't realize, but whenever you're a champion, you're always under so much pressure. You're always under the light. You always have to, like, prove a lot of things. And he's doing that, like, at the highest level, beating the best guys in the division. I think that's the difference. You know, those guys are always the main event, always the last guy walking in, closing the show. And that's helping so much with his mentality, you know. He always has a very strong mentality, works super hard. He freaking shows up and he don't care. He really don't care if he, he just want to win. That's the thing, you know. He, he don't, it don't matter if he's ugly, he's he, he going out there to win. Let's talk about you, Jorge Masvidal. What's happening? Are we getting this fight? I hope so. Last time I talked with the UFC, they offered the fight me against Jorge. November 12th, and I said yes for sure. And then a couple of days later, oh, he's not good. He had a little procedure on his on his wrist, but he's looking forward to December, January. That's what you have told me. They asked me, and that's what I said. And then he kind of oh, don't listen if I don't say so. But that was the UFC saying. And uh, for me, it's simple. If you want to fight, we fight. If you don't want to fight, just say it. I'm going to the next one. I'm on a mission right here. I'm not getting anyone any younger. Just want to get a win, put myself back in there. Maybe a second win and get another title shot. That's the goal right now. So, Jorge, where is it? Jorge, if you don't want to fight, it's all good, my brother. No hard feelings. I respect to you. Just give the word. Say no. If you want to fight, just tell the day. I'll fight you. If you don't, I'll move forward. Just. It's on you right now. If Jorge doesn't take it, would it be nice to get on that Brazil card in the new year? Yes, yes. Uh, I want to go to MSG card so bad, but whenever he said no, I was just like, ah. And then they say Brazil. And then I'm like, if I gotta wait, so I'm ready since April. If I gotta wait, put me in Brazil, you know, me, Jorge, I want Aldo to win so bad. Think about Aldo main event for the title. Gilbert Burns, Kome against Masvidal, man, get your popcorn and get ready, that's a good card. Hamza Chamayev is going to take on Nate Diaz over five rounds. First question, how much would you have liked that fight, your fight with him to be over five rounds? And secondly, what do you think Nate Diaz's chances are? I asked so much for five rounds, I fought with, with my manager, hey, I won five rounds. Oh, but they say no, but ask again, I, I talked to Dana, but they end up doing three rounds, I really fought to a five rounds. But uh, he, fair enough, he got a win. I'm over there already. But it's going to be a tough night for Nate Diaz. Very tough night for Nate Diaz. Hamza Shimaev is a tough one. 
I think when it comes to get a finish, you know, he has to finish. If he doesn't finish, he's not going to look good on him. I know he already has the title shot kind of in the way, but he needs to get a finish, and I think he can get it. If he put a good pace since the beginning, I think he, I think he end up getting the finish by second, third round, and getting a title shot against Kamara or Leon, I think Kamara. And finally, can I ask you about Charles Oliveira yeah. against uh, Islam Makhachev for the vacant title? You, you back in Charles? Keep winner's belt back? Sure. The champion has a name in that division, Charles Oliveira. People are under underestimating this guy. They say, oh, he got knocked out. Yeah, but he exchanged with Gaethje. Oh, he got knocked out. Yeah, but he exchanged with Chandler. Oh, he got knocked out. Yeah, but he exchanged with all these strikers, Dustin Poirier. And guess what? He got in the finish. Guy is a beast. He's in a good moment. I don't think no one in lightweight division can beat him not right now. He's the reigning and the best guy in the UFC world. I think the best fighter in the UFC right now. Period. Longest like record with the bonus, record with submission. I think Charlie's gonna dominate uh, Makachev and, and get a win over there, and people are gonna start putting a lot of respect on his name. Thank you, Gilbert. Enjoy the rest of your night.